Well, brings us to South Florida at Hard Rock Stadium here in Miami. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the San Francisco 49ers taking on the Miami Dolphins. Now the Michigan man, Jake Moody, to get us started. And we are underway from Miami. Braxton Berrios now from his end zone. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. They'll run here with Raheem Mostert. Up past the 30, second down coming up. Defensively, we always know that he is tough at run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. From the 31, here's second down and eight. Once again, it's Mostert. And he'll get this to about the 34, a gain of just three. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. From the gun, it's Tua. That is caught. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Territory now. This is first and ten at the 38. Now a give to Mostert running right. Down the right sideline. And all the way in for the Miami touchdown. Raheem Mostert, 38 yards. And the Dolphins are on the board first here this afternoon. throw it's caught and it's eight nothing interesting i mean they're putting their foot on the gas here early going for two to go up eight nothing well after that drive you have to believe that they thought to themselves if we can do that what's another two yards let's go get those and get two points as a result the touchdown ready to kick it away is Sanders and we'll see a return here from the end zone and running with power here and they'll start this drive just across the 30 pretty nice work on the return Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line first and 10 at the 31 yard line Come out throwing here to start the drive. Oh, the first play of the game going to be intercepted. And he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. The Dolphins take over first and 10 at the 26-yard line. A 
a run with Mostert up the middle. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on the play there. Second down. He can rack up those tackles in bunches in the run game from that middle linebacker spot. And what he has to do is make sure he congratulates the guys in front and tells them thanks a lot because as the guy in the middle, the Mike linebacker, you're counting on your front three, your front four, your front five, whatever you've got in front of you to take up all the blocking, allow you to roam and hit, and that's what he did on that play. Second down, here's Mostert again. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. No sign of Tua departing. Fourth down. They're going for it. Tug of Iloa going for it on fourth down. That is caught by Waddle. Touchdown, Miami. Jalen Waddle. A 22-yard touchdown round. And the Dolphins' decision to go for it pays off with six points. They're going to keep it on the ground. Now split the difference, and they're right where they would have been with two PATs. They got the two-point conversion the first time they failed there. Interesting, isn't it? Because the first time you go after your first score, that feels like a gamble. The second time when they tried it again, that felt like, what the heck, right? Because, as you said, even if you miss it, you split the difference, and you're right on schedule at 14 points. And a mistake on the ladder. It's a loose ball. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked off by Jerome Baker. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They felt they got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there. Got a nice interception and set up their offense in great shape. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. He's going to drop this underneath to Mostert. Two yards on the pickup there. And that's going to lead to a third and 11. Tua sets up to pass it. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Sanders' kick is good. And that'll make this 17 0 here in the opening quarter. So the interception set him up with terrific field position, but three points, the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points. But that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say, we should have done better there. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively, obviously. Two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit, like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week, not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 17-0, our score after one. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter. On the set. 
So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now Purdy. And his throw here is incomplete. Fair to say, it hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They've got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 13 yards there and a Niner first. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. Here's Purdy on first and 10. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayu. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Brings up second and one at the 40 yard line. Purdy now to throw. Open man is Jerome Jennings. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 30. Debo going in motion left. On first down, it's Purdy. He's got this complete to Ayuk on the out route. Touchdown, 49ers! Brandon Ayuk, 30 yards! And the 49ers get a bit closer. And on that one, able to catch it, also able to have the wherewithal to take it in for the score. And how about the phases of a successful catch and a completion of a play? Look the ball in, secure the catch, and then, of course, the run after the catch that ends up in the end zone. And they go with McCaffrey. And he is not going to get in here. So the decision to go for two does not pay off as they're unable to cut any further into their deficit. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. Barrio is going to bring this out of the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> <laughs> not one that I've ever met. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Diamondo Lamore, and he will bring it back to the four-yard line. It's such a costly interception, nearly a pick six, but now they're so close, they are knocking on the door for a touchdown. And I never want to get on any team for being aggressive because that's part of what their makeup is, and oftentimes it's successful. But in this case, you've got to be selective about it and make sure you take care of the football. That interception almost cost them six points. Now their defense has to run onto the field, probably giving the quarterback a few side eyes along the way. They've got to see if they can stop a score. Again, McCaffrey. And he'll take this into the end zone for a San Francisco touchdown. Christian McCaffrey taking it in from two yards out. And the 49ers have cut it back within a score. Purdy and the Niner offense, they'll stay on the field. They'll try to go for two here. And he'll get in for the two points. 
and that'll cut the deficit down to just a field goal. And I guess that makes up for the earlier missed two-point try here to get him to 14. Yeah, that aggressiveness reminds me a lot of when basketball first adopted the three-point shot, and people were starting to realize that three for two was really starting to work for them. In this case now, maybe the two for one is coming into play in the NFL. Oh, a good return up past the 30. Still going. One man to beat. And he will score. Touchdown, Miami. The Dolphins will again line up and go for two. Now Tua. And he's got it. So the try for two successful. And that bumps their lead up even further. So now the other return teams out there is they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. They come in off a touchdown drive the last time they had the ball. That cut down the lead. Now the defense does their part, got them the football back. So now maybe with the touchdown they scored previously, plus their defense making that stand up and getting them the ball right back, momentum may be shifting in their favor. He'll fire this deep for Ayuk, and that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Here's second and ten. Birdie off the play fake. Out to his left. And this one is incomplete. And that puts this driver a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on the first two throws has him huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get the momentum going again. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked up by Javon Holland. And they'll start with great field position at the 41-yard line. From the gun, a run with motion. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. Throw's going to be incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Here's Tua. And that will be incomplete. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. And no move to get the offense off the field. They're going on fourth and five. They're going for it. Here's Tua with it. Oh, looking for Waddle, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Fred Warner. And the 49ers are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their 38. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. The 49ers moving hastily. They're scurrying to the line. At the 43-yard line. Play action, and now here's Purdy to throw it. Gets this one to use check. Seven yards there and a first down. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. A first and 10 here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Brandon Jones picking it off. 
Well, CD, you know, when you mentioned earlier about spreading the ball around in this game, I don't think you mentioned the guys in the other uniform. With four interceptions here in the first half, and several different guys have picked him off. Yeah, and instead of analyzing what's going wrong with him, throwing the football while we look at the two and the ball is out and now this is scooped up by the 49ers and his crew will take over with a football at the 35 yard line every week we hear talk about create turnovers create turnovers in particular they wanted to force some fumbles they got one right there and it shows you how the game has changed over time it used to be good enough for a guy to get a sack of the quarterback in the pocket now if you come to the sidelines and you didn't knock the ball free, your coaches are upset with you, all right? So if you're a quarterback, it starts all the way back in the youth leagues. Take care of the ball, take care of the ball, take care of the ball, because here come the defenders. And it's intercepted at the goal line. And nothing comes of this last-ditch attempt at points as time will run out on this first half. 